everybody. Today is a different episode for today. I'm not going to be doing constellations for the 50th episode of this series, which is like, wow, like 50 episodes that I've done of this game is a bit crazy for me, but we're going to be playing Team Vega's recreation of all the levels. And I was excited for this. I'm going in blind here, and I am really excited to play from worlds one through six see how they uh remixed it up right but without further ado let's get it started one e1 playing it straight question mark oh yeah you're definitely not playing straight okay that early was kind of dumb <laughs> but whatever one e2 s ben returns oh just no no Let's see. Oh, boy. Well, actually, this is going to just... I, this is kind of fun. If they actually just do this entire level in double DPM. Oh, never mind. Okay. Oh, I'm actually a bit early there. Probably should uh, slow down a little bit. Okay. I thought, like, the, the bends were going to still be in double BPM, but luckily it looks like they're slowed down, so that's going to make things a lot more easier. <laughs> 1E3 Hexagon Twist. Man, this shit looks... Oh, that sounds weird when it gets to, like, the U-turn. <laughs> 1X, A Dance of Fire and Ice, Plum Remix. Ah, oh, there you go. At least we have Plum Remix. This song. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I also do... I've also been hearing a lot of Plum songs in Odo Fire. I mean, they are pretty good for this game, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, here we go. Double BPM. There you go. Off to a great start with that. Okay. That hexagon twist part is a bit tricky, but that's like the only like tricky part in this level, actually. Because otherwise, it's just double BPM straight line, mostly, with little S-bends here and there. I mean, this this is a... I mean, it's not that bad, but I mean, I guess I can see why it's rated a, like a Sega gem, just because of the double BPM. But on to the next level. 2x or ex in this matter. Here we go. 2e1. North and south are always off beat. Simple enough. 2e2, huge step. Oh god, okay. Yeah, we got double BPM in here again? Okay. Whoa, okay, this remix is already going in hard. <laughs> okay, wait. There you go. Okay, that is that is a bit tricky though, because of those hexagons or not? Yeah, hexagons. I was. I thought I said like octagons for a second. Hexagon rhythms are always confusing. Oh, I forgot to read the tutorial name. Okay. There you go. That's two e. Three continues. I don't see too bad so far. 
2x off beats hexacube remix now this is an artist that i have not heard of but i'm excited all right oh wow okay yeah i can tell why this has a strict this is already much more faster than the uh original song like following the, the original okay never mind now we're getting into the new level stuff here we go Oh, crap, why did I mess up there, dude? That was just... Mm, damn. All right, whatever. Alright, there you go. I hope to god there's another... I hope it just stays like this the entire time. Cause goddamn. That part is a little tricky for me. I mean, luckily it doesn't last that long. But damn. Alright. Oh, actually, are we gonna like repeat the same section where like we go on the up? Never mind. Thankfully, I caught on that that was double DPM. <laughs> Alright, There you go. Wow. Okay, that was that was interesting. I think what's interesting about this level is that most of the difficulty is like concentrated in like one area, and then once you get past that area, as long as you don't f succumb to like the nerves, you should be fine. Um, lots of hexagons though. It does differ from like the uh, original level a lot though in that section. Still very cool though. All right, so three ex this time, but uh. Interestingly enough, this level is actually rated a little bit less than the first two levels. So um, let's just try it out. 3E1, Steep Slope. Yo, this combines like swing and like 90 degree stuff I saw. This is interesting so far. Now I'm curious what this song's even gonna sound like now. All right. 3E2, Steep Slope and Trapezoid. Okay. So far these are very uh, interesting rhythms I'm seeing. 3E3, 
Rough Mine Road. Ooh, Hexagon Slips. Ooh, whoa. <laughs> That's some interesting stuff there. 3E4, Sunken Stairs. Uh, is there no music here? That's a bit strange. Yeah, well hopefully that was just that one tutorial, otherwise that's gonna be a shame. 3E5, Extremely High Stairs. Oh god, okay. Hopefully this doesn't actually affect the main level. I mean, I can still play this without music, so... That's pretty cool. E, e, 3E6, Spinning Gears. Oh man, okay. Good. I wonder how this actually sounds, but this sounds very interesting. You have like outside hexagon stuff. Hmm. Okay. Uh, is there another tutorial? Oh, nope, this is the main song right here. 3 EX, The Wind Up. Prod Remix. Okay, please, is there a song here? Okay, thank God. <laughs> Oh wow, okay, yeah, they took a very different approach to how this song looks. It's like a lot more mechanical this time, rather than being like a cave. Here's the... Now this is the thing I recognize from the actual level. Because of these like serpentines. But they kind of like songify like the last part of it. This is like a... Very creative way how they actually reinterpreted the song, actually. So initially, I thought this was just gonna be like kind of like similar to the last two levels, where it's just like extremely fast. Oh shoot! Yo, this is kind of like a magic shape, actually, <laughs> but not because uh, there's actually like a different rhythm here. Okay, that last part was actually pretty fun to play. Also, very, very close to appear perfect there. <laughs> Man, what a... That was cool. I really liked that. Because um, it changed up a lot of, like, the rhythms. It made it, like, a swing kind of thing going on over there. And especially, like, the final part is just really cool. So far, like, re this is, like, good stuff, man. I, I, I really like how they've uh, remixed all these songs and tried them in these various ways. All right, here we go. Now this one's really uh, gonna be exciting because I generally like 4X Love Letters just because of how simple it is and how you know it introduces you to a lot of new rhythms. So I'm wondering how they're gonna reimagine it this time around. So 4E1 Twisted Tricilo. Okay. Ooh, that is a little funky. Four E two twisted swing hill. Oh, yeah, this is already harder than the original one. <laughs> All right, going for a more uh, more swing style in this re particular remix. Four E three continuous triangles. Wow. Okay. 
That is, that is a bit crazy. Four E four, adding parallelogram. Ooh, that is pretty cool, actually. How they kind of reinterpret that like back-to-back -back pattern kind of stuff. Are they gonna further expand upon that in the main level? I want to know. Four E five, twisted square hills. Okay, for a second I was actually a bit worried if like. This was gonna be like really fast. Well, it looks like we're still uh, having that chill slow speed kind of thing going on. There you go. Okay, I could tell that was the main level because it loaded for a little while. All right, four EX, Love Letters, Kotari Remix. All right, here we go. Nice visuals. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, that was kind of a stupid death. I should have known it was just another continuous triangle. Maybe the parallelogram threw me off, too. Okay. But, holy crap, okay. I actually really like like what's going on in like the background too. Because it kinda like goes along with the song. And luckily it, it's not like too in your face, you know? So I can at least see the chart. This is, this is definitely, like, if this isn't a setup for a fast section, I don't know what it's going to be. <laughs> Alright. Okay, there isn't a fast section again. Actually kind of surprised. I thought there was. Wow. Yeah, that that was that was nice. I I like that. I enjoyed that a lot. Especially with the, um, I think what I really liked the most out of like the the new patterns that they kind of introduced was the uh, the contiguous triangles and then adding that parallelogram to it, or just a swung loop. That was pretty cool in my opinion, and this is a really cool level. Five E one swirling waves. Seems simple enough. Okay. So like some, I guess cliffhangers into some 
skewed steps. Oh, it's already the main level. Oh, crap. Okay. 5VX, the midnight train. Dawn edit. Also, there are four midnight trains now. Quadruple of the swing, except not really. Alright. I wonder if there's still like the same guy on the back of all four of those trains. Probably, right? Nice. Okay, so that this particular uh, remix kind of just followed really closely to the original while just, you know, spicing it up a little bit with the triangles and the, like, cliffhangers. So, yeah. But I think it's still pretty cool. I do like it a lot. I mean, so far, like this level remake thing that they've been doing by Team Vega has just been like really fantastic. I've been really enjoying all these levels. Ah, uh, here we go. <laughs> Good old 6 X pulse. But you know what? This isn't even as hard as like the first two levels, but I imagine it's going to bring back some nostalgia in a way. 6 E1 Galaxy Stairs. Right, there we go. Here's like the. I don't even know what to call these patterns, but they're funky. Nice. <laughs> that is, uh. I, that, I'm so glad that that pattern is coming back in this level. Alright, here we go. 6E2 Simplicity Telescope. Oh, some rectangles. Six E three sharp constellations. Oh, we got some ray triangles. Oh, never mind. This is like really slow though. Ooh, yo, this is sounding pretty epic right now, and it makes sense because this is the final level of the original game. So there you go. All right, here we go. Is this that was that the final? Nope. Never, oh, we got Galaxy Stairs Advanced. 6E4. Some, some right triangles. Oh, we got some mid spins too. Nice. Okay. It doesn't have like the, the weird pattern in there, but hey, I guess they supplement it with right triangles instead. 6EX Pulse Esmilly Remix. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, damn. All right, we're starting off pretty strong with this weird intro. All right. Wow, that really tested me on like my angle theory. But now we're on to the real PM tables of this level.
here's this rhythm again. All right. If it has like a similar like like kind of like photo. Oh yeah, it definitely does. Yeah, what the hell? Like evil planets trying to kill me? Alright. Alright, here we go. Now we got the right triples. Oh now it doesn't show me the mid spin. Ah, that was fun. Alright. Wow, okay, that, that is really cool. I actually like that a lot. Especially with the ending part. You know, when I just mentioned it with, like, the, the evil, like, planets, I guess. I'm assuming that, like, if you don't hit that mid-spin, then the planet rotating towards you will just flat out kill you so uh that was interesting and i really like that and so far um this has been like fantastic i i just like all of these levels that they have created but you know what there is one more level they have created it's a bonus level you know so let's go see it right now oh it looks like we only got the Classic two timings. All right, B E one. Will it end with the speed going up? Interesting tutorial name. Mm, that is basically like the first tutorial. B X, you know. Signal out. Yep. Okay, I knew it. So B E X. Thanks for playing my game, Hexacube Remix. All right. So uh. This is the last level, and of course it's got to be the bonus level, right? There's a reason I haven't mentioned it until now. Wow, okay, those little bends are actually tricking me up a little bit. Crap, I tapped like four times. The visual effects kind of threw me off there, not gonna lie. Ah, damn. Oh, damn, it's the bends again. Ah.
<laughs> oh, those bastards brung back the goddamn um the, the final like stair part was like dun -dun 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 -dun. oh my god that was so stressful plus i didn't even get good accuracy i'm so disappointed in myself but hey at least i managed to clear it um whew, okay <laughs> feels good to clear uh, some difficult levels once in a while plus no checkpoints too you know ironically enough i'm getting no checkpoint clears on some more difficult levels without even actually wanting to i should probably believe in myself a little bit more cuz i think i'm a lot more capable to do stuff, but you know, I kind of, I'm kind of just afraid to step out a little bit, just because you know, time. It's always time. If I had like sixty hours per day, I'd, I'd probably be a lot more further in this game. All right, let's just get right into our tier list. For our first level, one X, a dance of fire and ice, plum remix. This level is insane for me personally, just because of the double BPM and hexagon twist, because. Double BPM, of course, is going to be a bit difficult, and the hexagon twist is a bit tricky to play. Besides that, there's not much else to talk about this level, because the intro is pretty simple, and the uh, S-Bend is also pretty simple as well. Probably another insane for me personally. Since most of the difficulty is concentrated in one area, as long as you get past that one area, you should do fine. That one area is very tricky. You have... Uh, some like a lot of these like hexagon rhythms going on with some rectangle stuff going on generally not too difficult but i feel like because of that double bpm stuff or i mean also to correct what i said earlier generally not difficult i don't think it's i think it is pretty difficult but since it's only concentrated in one area and like it doesn't last for like a minute let's say uh it's not too bad but besides that really everything outside of the level is relatively simple to deal with. 3X, the wind-up prod remix. Probably one of the most interesting remixes I've heard so far. It really takes the song and interprets it in a very different way than what I was expecting. Adds some swing rhythms, and then does like the almost magic shape, but not really, because there's like an actual rhythm behind it. Very, very cool. Like, I really enjoy that a lot. But, you know, since those complicated patterns are there, it gets a bit of a difficulty bump for me, but since it's relatively slow, it's not that complicated, in my opinion. So that's why it belongs in the advanced tier, in my opinion. 4X, Love Letters, Coat Dari Remix, is another advance for me. It's kind of similar to 2X Offbeats, where it has like a concentrated area of difficulty, but then once you get that past that one part, the rest of the level is pretty easy. Yeah, that's kind of like what I'm referring to when it has like these like back-to-back -back triangles, and then the back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back triangles with a parallelogram, or just a skewed loop, and that was pretty interesting. But overall, once you get past that one part, you should be fine. But it is, that one part is pretty tricky since it's fast, and there are some interesting patterns in there. Well, 5X the Midnight Train Dawn Edit. I feel like it's just a just a nice remix overall. I like it a lot, especially with the uh, added triangles in there with some skewed loops, and then like they kind of like mix it up later on with some cliffhangers that transitions into a skewed loop or not skewed loop, a skewed step, and that was fun. But generally, I feel like if you know a bit about it, if you played like more of the harder swing levels in this tier list, then you'll probably be able to beat this quite easily. 6X Pulse Esmilli Remix. This level, in my opinion, is a hard, because it is decently long, it has some very, very uh, unorthodox rhythms, and the ending part has uh, uh, like an interesting like gimmick where the, the like the mid spins are, you kind of have to interpret them a little bit differently. And I mean, I feel like, it's just like, a, honestly, just to talk about the remix a little bit more, I, f I really like this remix a lot more than I expected. Because, uh, you know, Pulse, the original Pulse was a bit, like, it was just there. But here it's like, ooh, man, you can feel the uh, the intensity in this one, you know? And I really enjoy what the what S. Millie did with the uh, remix of this song. All right, there you go. Of course, BX was probably going to be the most hardest out of this entire uh, level pack. But uh, BX, thanks for playing my game. Hexcube Remix is an expert for me. Because, first off, there are no checkpoints. <laughs> Gotta mention that. I mean, of course, there are no checkpoints in any of these levels, but 
I feel like it's more apparent here because in the other levels, mostly uh, either in one X, it was just relatively simple rhythms or only like one tricky section. And then two X was also just one tricky section here. The entire level is fast. So you're going to have to be, have a bit of stamina in there. And there are a lot of rhythms it takes back from the original BX, like the final like stair part. And then the uh, the serpent the very fast serpentines and then the um like the, and then like the four tap loops you sometimes see but it also adds in like some bends in there and some of these rhythms that kind of like throw you off in some loops some like regular loops and yeah overall it's a it's a pretty tricky level in my opinion but hey it was pretty fun to play through the entire thing so hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh departure from the usual constellation levels i definitely enjoy this entire remix and uh hopefully they i think i've heard that they've planned on remixing the uh like 7 through 12 and then some of the uh, extra worlds themselves so that's gonna be really interesting i'm gonna be curious what they're gonna do for one forgotten night <laughs> oh boy one forgotten night's gonna be a uh, Quite an interesting experience for me if they ever do that. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. See you guys another day.